In this next video, I'm going to show you how to use the new email plugin called the Site Mailer of Elementor. A really easy tutorial. So to get started and to install this, I'm going to get directly here into Elementor.com. You have the link to download or skip to to try this out. So here directly here into Elementor, you have the free trial, the Mailer Kit, and the 5K and 10K. So let's try it out with the free trial. But first of all, let's talk about what we have directly here into the features. There is no daily email limit a custom domain, a 30-day log change in the statistics, the email settings, the email testing, and the expert support. So you can start totally for free once again. You have this link down below in the description to get started. I'm going to look in directly here into my Elementor so I can have access directly into the website that I currently have. Directly inside the myelementor.com website, here is, and I'm going to open this directly with my WP dashboard. Once we have now access directly into your dashboard, you can focus directly into the add-ons so you can download directly the zip file. And here the zip file should be added directly into WordPress. To check out your Elementor site mailer, go directly into the left pod and go directly into settings. Into settings, I'm going to click here where it says site mailer. And this is how we should integrate the site mailer directly into our WordPress account using Elementor. Now you can see how we have our current plan, the email settings, the email status that we currently have and if you want to upload your plan for more mails you can click here into upgrade and i'm going to close this and check out here my fresh data for example here into today data i have sent it to emails have two emails delivered and one of them has been opened so you can check out more email failed how many percentage we have a total email how many percentage we have email delivered down here we can see that we have the subject the message to source the status update and date send it if you wanted to, you can just select elements and delete them. Usually I just leave them as it is because I wanted to analyze what happened with the message. If I click here where it says general settings, you can check out that here is the center details. This is the preview of how it actually gonna be appearing on our website. So for example, like the actual name, the email support, and the reply to. So here is my domain where been verified. If you wanted to verify a new domain, you can check out the DNS records. So usually it's going to be asking you to enter this information into your domain provider, such as the CNAME, the host, and the value. And you click now to verify domain. Make sure this went past a few minutes before you're making this process. And now you should see that here I have a blue verification button that our domain has not been verified. You can select any specific email in order to see what appears as the center for the email. You can you can customize your name and reply to. Even you can send a test email just in case you wanted to check out how it's going to be looking. Let's go for example here, say text be used at gmail.com. And I'm going to click here where it says send test. Be sure to enable the saved email content to save your email messages and resend them into the future. I'm going to open any tab. I'm going to check out my Gmail account. And here you see the here into the upper side is appearing now the site mailer email test. I'm going to click in it, and here it is. Congrats to the test, it was sent successful. If I click here, I have more information about the email. So here's myself, here's the email support, and the reply to. So as you can see, the site mailer is working really, really great and effortlessly. Compared to other plugins, this is going to be really easily and effortlessly. So if you reach the inbox without requiring SMTPX to complex integration, this is usually how we can actually use the site mailer. If there's any issue or something you wanted to discuss about with Elementor, here's the Elementor Visual Assistant, so you can look out for more assistance just in case you need to talk about what happens with your with your plan, with your add-on, and so much more. Basically, that's how we can get started with the site setup of a site mailer. So just in case this was pretty useful for the site mailer, you can leave us a comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember, you have the link to download the description so you can try it out this Elementor with this cool new feature of the site mailer. Thank you once again for watching the video. See you next time.